Is the summon symbiote a cheat code in how to do the Thronebreaker objective? Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. Got a really interesting topic for you, and um, that is this. So first of all, shout out to Plasma for this particular idea. And the idea was to take the summon symbiote. Now, just saying, you know, just take the summon symbiote into the spot dimension. There's a lot more to that than meets the eye, okay? We're going to go over why that is in a second. So there is a Thronebreaker objective called Complete the Spotted Dimensional Side Quest with a team rating hero of uh, 20,000 uh, or less on Legendary Difficulty, okay? And it is your side quest kind of objective apart from the costume heroes. But this particular theory is a pretty cool one, but it requires a bit more. There is a bit of risk to this and as well as a bit of preparation. So let's get into that preparation. Part one of this is survivability. Now, if we're doing side quests, we know we've got high ratings in Legendary, so we need to know that the Summon Symbiote can survive. The Summon Symbiote has nearly 30k health, and as well, it has got an attack rating of 2,635, providing you've got a rank 5 version. So, there is something there to make it seem as if this champion can hold its own. That's a real key point, because you might be like, I want to use this one as a potential option. But do you know the problem? That's right, the problem is there is gates, there's a six star gate that you will need to either have that on. Yes, there's a 90% chance that you're going to get candies and go down the paths that don't have a gate, but there is still a percentage. I've seen horror stories of people taking in lower rated champions, finding themselves landing on a six star awakening gem or the gated paths and going to themselves, oh my god, I have now wasted a spot annoying that is very annoying and then kind of like you kind of pinpoints you going oh i guess i have to kind of go down and find a six star that's on a lower rating and take it in which can be seen as a little bit problematic so we need to create a team that covers this potential eventuality let's now move on and talk about the team creation team creation is probably the most important thing now there will be your summon symbiote yes the six star wise we need in order to do that potential gate that six star gate may be a bit of a surprise, but here's the thing, it may be possibility that it will pop up. 90% getting candies, yeah, okay. Like, there's a good chance you're gonna get the candy path. But let's face it, you'll be stuck on that six star path if you are kind of like that lucky or unlucky as it seems. And creating a team is gonna be very important. From what I gather, you can either go down, you don't have to do the Summon Symbiote, but this video is all about the Summon Symbiote. And look, it's got a certain rating with it that I can then create a team. You can see top right hand corner, it says total 19,736 on the rating. And I can have my Gamora in, which is going to be the champion I'm going to use. The summon symbiote, which is going to be helpful enough. And then have the synergies of the two the two star synergies to then bolster my uh, one rank one um, Gamora for it. It's, not an, it's an option like I don't have to bring in that particular champion, but at least have a six star with me that I can have as helpful can be good. If you filter based on your ranks, like rank one, uh, for example, uh, then look, you know, it's difficult to, it, when you filter rank two, it's difficult to find something that's like huge potency. If I go rank two, six star, which is, you know, what I, I could use. Uh, my lowest is Hit Monkey, which I haven't even like leveled up yet. Like I usually leave champions to be leveled up because of, you know, level up event and stuff like that. Uh, but that's that I could use that. Like that's part way through the rank up process. So I could put that into that. However, though, I kind of think that my rank one Gamora with a couple of synergy boosters with a three there could make it really potent. Same thing could be with Hit Monkey, but um, I've kind of like made that team around that. And it's up to you how you build a team. Shout out to uh, to Aunt May. You can go to Aunt May, link in the description. You can find the champions you need. You know, if you've got whatever, for instance, a Drax, and you kind of go down to synergies, those are a list of the synergies right there. Also, uh, a top tip with this is as soon as you brought in a six star, click on the synergies, click the little, re the, the little button in the bottom right hand corner, and it cycles through to the two stars. And what you can do is then, you then grab the two star out and you can drop it into the synergy. That is a great little kind of like uh, quality of life improvement. Kabam Zero, we salute you on that one. That's great. Okay, so that in theory is a team that you could create around the Summon Symbiote that as well covers you for the eventuality of you landing on that six star gate. Now, it could be a one and done situation. You don't need to do this again. But the main part of this video is testing out the Summon Symbiote. It's just a case of like, if you land on that six star gate, which there is a smidgen of a chance, a smidgen, you need to kind of like 
event have that as an eventuality and prepare for it. So let's use the summon symbiote and see whether or not it can be a little cheat code in uh, trying to get the rifts done and that particular throne breaker objective. Also one thing to point out depending on how you feel like this is going to go you put on boosts. If you don't think this is going to go well, put on boosts. It will at least put your mind at ease if you don't think things are going to go well and helps you just progress through. So here we go with the footage. Now, uh, there's some things to point out. I do make uh, a couple of mistakes, but I get a lot of dropped inputs, which you're going to see towards the end. Like, I've got receipts for it, and, and that's just the problem at the moment. There's a lot of things that haven't been properly dealt with with the input issues. I've got to talk about it in a minute. As I said, I've got receipts in a second. We'll go over that. So, um, yeah, first of all, the champion is effective, and that's the main point of this video showing that the champion is effective enough to do damage there is a little bit of a mistake for me on an sp1 which is my mistake and i own up to that one uh, there's a good amount of bleed damage it's spiking off nicely there i missed time like that that's on me that's on me and there i'm kind of like intercepting forward i should have known that rhino is going to go unstoppable on that like it is going to be what it's going to be uh, so i am a little bit annoyed about losing that health right off the bat there is a little bit of damage through the block which is kind of annoying but it isn't so severe that you should worry about i tried using gamora and I, i'm gonna like say that like, there's a real weird thing as soon as like i get five hit combo off the champion just like comes out of me and i'm like right okay that's a bit annoying but it is what it is like i'm not going to super analyze all this on my play because i literally have I, I don't care um the fact is this is this is this is done this is an option gamora was an option for me on that one uh, there like it just champion just comes straight at me and i don't know if i whether or not i swipe for it or not it's just like it's very kind of like there was no unstoppable it was very kind of like ping and kind of like boom right in my face i was like whoa so i want to say like my reaction time then was kind of like a bit jank so i think losing that champion was a bad thing uh, i was dealt a little bit of a bad hand going up against mole man killmonger and rhino and having null as the final boss so i don't recommend that that's that wasn't too fun in any case um yeah i had to be very careful because i just want to be making sure that uh, i kind of don't lose any more champions it does make me a very cagey fighter when stuff like that happens but Look, um, as I said, the point of this video is showcasing that uh, the Summon Symbiote does and can be an effective option for this. Uh, going up against Killmonger, getting that armor break. Thank God, by the way, I had that armor break because otherwise this fight would be kind of like a little bit unbearable. Every time you do a parry, you get a armor break. That shuts down um, Killmonger, so that's great. And there's some great amount of crits as well. A parry there, I shouldn't have really done that. I should have been better with my kind of like um, responses. But as I said, like when you get rocked very early on with stuff, it does like change the way you kind of like look. For me, it changes the way I kind of look at fights. And we're going to see something in a second which kind of breaks down an input. An ongoing problem I've really had, and I, I'd said Kabam when the input system was um, in bunny ears fixed. I said that when you swipe back and go into a block, sometimes it does not register that particularly well. And you're going to see in a minute where I have to create plenty of distance with an SP2. I do the evades and then when I'm trying to evade out, it doesn't register the input, which we're going to see the receipt surf in a second. It's just coming up now um, with that, that right there. Like it gets me out. I'm in a block. Like I swipe back, go into a block. And then as I try and swipe again, it doesn't do anything. And I'm there just like then taking damage. So that's kind of like something that I, I think is rubbish. Uh, and as well, it happens again in a minute where I try and swipe and nothing happens. I think out of this. Yeah, just try to swipe that nothing happens. That may that happens uh, like earlier with, um, with another fight. But in any case... It's done. So yeah, that worked. That did the job. I am a little bit annoyed though because uh, I got a dropped input when it was uh, with a null fight. <sighs> null is the kind of end boss is a bit, uh, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, it's done. Um, that works and uh, I recommend it if uh, you want to like do that again. Standard personal preference, what you're interested in. A lot of people have already done it already. So uh, yeah, you do you at the end of the day. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And also check out some other content which will be located on screen right now. Have a good one. Bye-bye.